when I was at the academy. You know, anything that was kind of old and dead, they would make you do. And um, but I did kind of like, I actually like it. And what it is, no, it's yeah. a special, almost like a special kind of gesso, a very liquidy space gesso, but it was really difficult to make. And uh, it, you would put it out, you'd let it dry, and then with a silver point stylus, which I have somewhere, um, it's basically just like a, a pen that has a piece of silver sticking out of it. And you can make a mark. And it looks very much like pencil. Um, Dark. Um, it looks like pencil, but you can't erase it, so you just keep going until you get some tired of working on it. But the uh, the surface has to, and, and so the surface is prepared with silver point drawing ground by Golden, and then, like I said, it's dried. If, if you had silver point, you just did it on a prime surface, it wouldn't leave any mark whatsoever. So it has to be on the surface and it is prepared. Also, the silver point drawing ground is just a nice ground itself. It's very, you know, soft. I mean, it's a smooth. It's not like little textured or anything like that. Fiber paste. I made, I showed that um, cold press watercolor. This is the same product. They just marketed the other stuff for water. What you want to do, and you you want to use this stuff, is use the fiber paste because you can get it in gallon jugs. I don't know, you know, price well, but it, it's you just get more of it. So this stuff's kind of cool because it looks like handmade paper or cold press paper. You put it out, you can add color to it. You let it dry, then you can draw on it. Then I worked into it with um, with the fluids as a watercolor-like effect and pencil. All right. I think I'm going to pretty much wrap this up, but I want to talk about varnish.